A Hotel Particulier, almost hidden in the heart of Paris, where scattered over five floors are several works of art and private rooms, ready to receive, and where the House of Chloe, founded by Gabi Aguillon in 1952, is chosen to install its archive department, all whilst emphasising the cultural space. The opening of, of this building coincides with the 65th anniversary of the house. Um, it, uh, and so it marks a kind of looking back as well as looking forward, presenting the archive, conserving the archive on the fifth floor, opening it up to visits, but also questioning it and wondering where its strengths are and where the relationships have been over the years. The visit can begin with the Chloe Girls' Room, where several pieces from past designers of the house are exhibited like an alphabet book. From Karl Lagerfeld to Stella McCartney or Claire Waitkeller, you can also discover Solange Knowles' project with the house. We commissioned an archive box, which looks like a very modest box within the archive, but in fact where Solange Knowles, the songwriter, singer, activist that, uh, that she is, has chosen words from the Chloe archive and has used them as kind of samplers to a song. So it shows the moment of inspiration um, when an archive is translated into another kind of contemporary project and a first exhibition that emphasises the photographs of Guy Bourdin, issued mostly from French Vogue with models clearly sporting Chloe-designed outfits. Why we chose Guy Bourdin for this first exhibition in the Maison was that, quite literally, he was the photographer who photographed Chloe more than any other. And I think this was both a kind of fact, you know, that a, a numerical fact, but also something that people wouldn't necessarily expect. And so I think all of us, um, through the conversations leading up to the exhibition, liked this fact, an element of surprise, and that it cast a kind of new light on the design house, but also maybe a new light on his work. 